Hi, I'm Lindsay Pollack, Global Spokesperson for LinkedIn, and I'm also a career and workplace consultant. On a recent episode of Get Connected, we met Cheryl Platts, who discussed the importance of work-life balance. Your job does not have to be your life. Take control, you know, defend your own work-life balance. And I'm here today to answer questions from the members of Connect about how to balance your personal and professional selves. A question from Karen St. John. How do we incorporate a healthy life-work balance approach into our work-obsessed culture? Karen, I think this is a common issue. Even if your company is really supportive of work-life issues, it's always gonna be up to you to find the right balance or integration. So will you take advantage of the programs that your company might offer? What are the right working hours for you? What's the right me time that you need? How much time do you wanna spend with your family and on your hobbies? It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks or what your company dictates, it's about what you need to make sure that you have the energy to move forward. Here's a question from Becca Bishop Eisenbarth. I'm about to be a first time mom and would love any advice on how to manage that and be successful in my senior management position. First of all, cut yourself a lot of slack. You have no idea what this change or any life change is going to mean in terms of work, in terms of your personal time, in terms of your health, so give yourself lots of room for error. The second thing I would say is that babies love schedules and boundaries, and I found that people at work kind of love that too. So set a schedule and set boundaries around your time. For instance, I will always be home by six o'clock, or weekends are just for family time. Dorothy DiStefano asks, as a woman who works from home, I need a way to separate work versus home. It's very difficult to draw the boundaries because I'm physically in the house. The first thing when you work from home is to have a clearly defined space for your work, even if it's just a corner of your living room or bedroom, so that when you're sitting in that chair in that space, people know that you are at work. As much as possible, set clear working hours and give yourself breaks. Schedule those times for personal calls, for any errands you have to run, just as if you were working in an office. Group member Donna Sally asks, how do you prevent getting burned out on your career choice? I've seen many women leave their careers of many years due to burnout. Burnout is a real issue and there are a few ways that you can handle it. One is to find ways in your job to continue to learn and challenge yourself. So take training courses, take on additional responsibility that might expand your skill set and make your job a little bit more different or interesting. The second thing is to find things outside of work that enrich your life by finding hobbies or a side business in addition to the work that you do. And if you're really experiencing burnout, don't be afraid to make a career switch, maybe inside your organization or to something completely different. Work-life balance is not a luxury, it really is a necessity today. Even 30 minutes a day of me time can make a huge difference. You'll find yourself happier both personally and professionally. 